Kojic Acid's primary use and benefit is to lighten visible sun damage, age spots, and scars, which ultimately gives you those anti-aging effects that you're looking for. And the reason why I like Kojic Acid is because in addition to the skin lightening effects, Kojic Acid also contains antimicrobial and antifungal properties. In this video, we'll hone in on how to get the best results when using Kojic Acid in general and how to target those dark spots that you guys have been asking me about. Also stay tuned till the end and I'll reveal to you guys what my favorite Kojic Acid product is. Hi guys, it's Hugh Narsalan, media pharmacist here on YouTube. On this channel, I'll help you guys make better and more informed decisions about your health and wellness, particularly when it comes to skincare, a topic I've been getting a lot of questions about. So if that's something you're into and want to be part of, be sure to smash that like button below now. Go ahead, just give it a little tickle. Also join the community by clicking that subscribe button and engaging in the comment section below. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. So quick question, what do fungus and rice have in common? Well, they're both potential sources of kojic acid, of course. Oh, tough crowd. Not only is the active ingredient often derived from several types of mushrooms, it's also a byproduct of the fermentation of foods, including sake and soy sauce. So if you're looking into the natural products, Kojic acid does stand out. Unlike other acids that work by dissolving the bonds between the cells and exfoliating the skin, kojic acid works by inhibiting pigment production responsible for dark pigment. It stops and prevents the formation of tyrosine, which is an amino acid that's needed to produce melanin. Unlike alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids, kojic acid won't even out your complexion by chemically exfoliating the outermost dead layer of the skin. Instead, it's more like a low-key and less controversial version of hydroquinone, which you know has been banned. And yes, kojic acid is more tolerated than AHAs and BHAs, but it may not be the best option for your hyperpigmentation if you have really sensitive skin. Why, you might ask? Because of contact dermatitis, something to keep note of, which is why I would spot test it first before applying it to the face, first on the arms, then on the neck. But generally speaking, kojic acid is better tolerated than most acids, but an allergy or irritation is certainly possible. But nevertheless, it's been approved for use in cosmetic products and concentrations of 1% or less. You see it sometimes paired with other brightening ingredients like vitamin C or niacinamide, and you'll likely start to see results within two weeks of consistent use. Although that's not a definitive mark that you should use to determine if it's worked or not, it can take a little longer to see the results you want, so don't throw it out if nothing's changed in two weeks. And you may see greater results or faster results if you also add glycolic acid to the treatment as well or another ingredient that I'll get into in a bit. Also, quick note, I recently made a video on azelaic acid, which if you haven't watched, click the video here and definitely watch that one too to decide which one is best for you. Now, kojic acid has become a favorite product for some dermatologists, especially since some of their patients who have had dryness or irritation from hydroquinone have an easier experience with using products with kojic acid when they made that switch, which is a major plus. When we come to know how to use it, Know that products with kojic acid can also be used in both your nighttime and morning routines. Just remember to follow it with sunscreen if you're using it in the morning. The biggest question I get always goes back to, should I give up on it? The desired result may vary from person to person depending on the skin type and severity of the condition. And this is why it largely depends on time. Some may get results in a few weeks while a few others may take months to show results. So again, be patient. In terms of the products, there are so many wonderful kojic acid products out there. One that sticks out to me the most if you're new to starting out with kojic acid, also one that I'm not sponsored by at all, but have looked into quite well is the La Roche-Posay Glycolic B5 Serum. It has what they call the triple anti-Asian complex of pure glycolic acid, tranexamic acid, and vitamin B5. It's dermatologist tested and great for sensitive skin. What really caught my eye with the product is the fact that they incorporate B5 in their ingredients. The reason why I like B5 is that it binds to and holds water effectively, moisturizing the skin and helping it maintain softness 
and elasticity. So again, excellent product there. You can pick it up in the description below. Overall, Kojic Acid is a great alternative to products that have failed for you in the past when it comes to fading dark spots and hyperpigmentation caused by acne scars, excessive sun exposure, or hormonal changes. Keep in mind, it should not be used to lighten the skin if there are no dark spots. It's best reserved for re reversing existing dark and hyperpigmented areas on the face. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to make this video short and sweet. Share with me down below what your thoughts are. I hope that this video helps give you a better understanding of Kojic Acid as a whole. Like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe not to miss out on future videos. Thanks for sticking to it all the way till the end and I'll see you guys on the next one.